、えー、逮捕された時はその日は土曜日7月の土曜日の朝だったんですけれども非常取り出してでガッチャンってされて、えー、いやその時初めてあ私犯罪者にされたんだなってショッキングでした。自分のマンコを使って表現してあの逮捕されたというのはおそらく私が日本の中で初めての人だと思うんですがそれで。Her arrest has attracted worldwide media attention in what is arguably the highest profile obscenity case Japan has seen to date. So, we headed to Tokyo to learn more about her current situation and the state of Japan's long running obscenity law. We're in Tokyo Shinjuku and we are about to arrive at a gallery here that's holding some of Roku de Naishiko's art. And she's going to meet us here and explain a little bit about her case. Konnichiwa, Kari des. Konnichiwa, Roku de Nashiko des. Hajimashite. Hajimashite. Eh, to, ここは新宿眼科画廊というアートギャラリーです。案内します。とほとんどの作品は警察に押収されてしまったんですけれども。Up until her arrest last year, Roku de Nashiko's studio was full of authentic vagina art decorated vagina molds, a vagina chandelier, and even a full size vagina suit. Well, I'm a person who's 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 女の子の股の間にいてあのなんで私は名前を呼んでもらえないんだろうって思ってある日ポーンって飛び出してあの外の空気を吸っていたらあのいじめられるフェミニズムの思想というのがあるのを知って勇気づけられてあの勉強しだすんですね、えー、なぜマンコがあのこんなに日本であの悪者になっているのかっていうのを改めて考えで逆に私はあの工業プロダクトデザインにして大量生産してあの販売したいので私の活動は昔からずっと孤独で孤独な作業というか孤独に頑張って一人で声を上げてきたんですけれども。In Japan, like, we are not very used to feminist art scene, but what she's doing is very feminist because she became quite political and she's really trying to change you know, people's perception about vagina. ある美術評論家の人にインパクトがないってバカにされたんですね。で、あのまあ、確かにあのマンコってこのぐらいの大きさなのでその一個のものをすごくでかくしてみたいなと思ったんですね。After such heavy scrutiny, Roku de Nashiko became determined to build something bigger. Using 3D printing technology, she scanned her vagina and created a fully functional kayak. To make it happen, she crowdfunded money on the internet. As a reward to her supporters, she sent them the 3D data of her vulva. For the Japanese authorities, the new technology that was used、mm -hmm. is, is quite a frightening thing. This disturbing ability、mm -hmm. to reproduce a three dimensional model of her very own vulva、mm -hmm. for the authorities, this is kind of an intersection of a dangerous new technology、mm -hmm. and something that they haven't seen before. I was surprised that it was charged as like obscene. She has been charged with the violation of Article 175 of the criminal, our criminal code,、uh, which punishes the distribution and dissemination of obscene material or data. She scanned her vagina 
you know, 3D scan data to be used in 3D printer. Um, she scanned it, she uploaded it, presenting it in a public place. Uh, 3D プリンターの技術というものがまだ新しい技術なのであの、まあ、逆にそ,のそういう新しい技術だからこそあの警察が早めに対応するためにあの私を捕まえたんだと思うんですけれども、えっと、日本はとってもあのそういうセックスに大変あの関心が強い国だと思うんですね。セックスの表現いやもっといやらしい表現があの日本の街中で結構あふれかえってしまってるという変な状況そこをあの結構誰もあまり今までおかしいって言ってこなかったので。In Rocky de Nashko's case, it's, it's really a sexual repression、yeah. and it's in a very outrageous way that、uh, it, it had taken away all her like, expressive freedom. There is something Very random about what gets targeted. And the authorities wisely refuse to spell out exactly what you can or cannot do.、Mm-hmm. Well, what, what counts as obscene is pretty much subjective. Yeah. Yes. There's no de- definition in the statute. It gives a lot of free hand for the judges, people who interpret it. You know, we don't know where it's a safe zone or which is not. Although we do know you can't show genitals. The rule is very simple if you show genitals, they'll go after you. We're in Akihabara, which is Tokyo's hub for technology and otaku culture. It's also known for its bustling porn industry. So, we're about to head to a seven story sex toy shop to get a better understanding of what representations of sexuality look like in a country where you're forbidden from showing genitals. Here, we have something that's like as close as possible to showing your vagina as you can possibly get. That is the most minuscule song I've seen in my entire life. Seems kind of counterintuitive to have like the vagina blurred out on a box that's containing a realistic mold of a vagina. This vibrator is literally a camera that you use to videotape yourself masturbating. An object that's explicitly made for the purpose of taking a video of your vagina and distributing it to people. When you compare these products to Roku Danashko's art, it seems like Japan's obscenity law is totally arbitrary and confusing. Things get even more confusing when you consider Japan's traditional fertility festivals, many of which openly celebrate genitals. We are in Kawasaki outside of the Festival of the Steel Phallus, which is centered around, as the name implies, a steel phallus. We're gonna go take a look inside and see why bringing your kid to the penis parade on a Sunday is seen as family fun, whereas making a kayak shaped like a vagina can get you put in jail for two years. According to legend, the Festival of the Steel Phallus began with a woman who was tormented because a fanged demon lived in her vagina. And chomped off the penises of all her suitors. She consulted a blacksmith who made her a steel phallus and penetrated her with it, shattering the demon's teeth and killing it. Do you think there's anything like kind of inappropriate about the fact that it's like giant penises? This is like a very, very family friendly activity. Like, we're literally across the street from a kindergarten. Ah, but in the Kanamara Matsuri, it's a Matsuri, it's a Jinja. So, the Kamisama is a very good thing. So, this is the shrine. お祭り自体は昔から、えー、あったものなんですが、えー、神様へのお供え物ですこちらの神社にゆかりの深い、えー、おぶっくというものなんですが、えーまあ、男性器女性器をかたどったものああの奉,納奉納品だとかそういったものああ六田奈子さんああはいはいはいねあれはいいんじゃないのかな何がいけないのかがわからない。なんだろう。あれは本当になんでなのかなと思うんですけど。The main takeaway here is that the concept of obscenity is so subjective. When it's in this kind of religious, traditional context, all of this kind of penis stuff is so totally okay and normal. 
But for some reason, when Roku Danaishka does the exact same thing, because the context is different, it's seen as vulgar or inappropriate. After Roku Danashko was originally released from jail, she made a manga about her experience with the police, which led to her second arrest. あ、それでですね。これが7月の逮捕のことを漫画にしたんですけれども、あの、留置場で受けたひどい仕打ちなどを、ま、おそらく私がこのようにコミックにして、あの、警察を馬鹿にしたことによって、警察が怒って、12月